Hi, I'm Kitsy Winthrop, and I'm just going to say briefly a story from my childhood. I was born in 1938 in Cambridge near Boston. By the time I was four, five, and six, I was terrified by World War II. We, being close to the sea, had to do the blackout shades and the sirens and the everythings. I had heard from my big older sister about St. Joan. And every night, once I figured out how I could be fearless girl, I would get under the covers and I would imagine my parents would let me go to Europe to find the biggest white horse I could and something that would say truce and ride out in the middle of the, you know, the battlefield, which I thought was a football field. What did I know at age four or five? And I would shout, stop it, stop it. You're killing people, you're scaring children, stop it. When Fearless Girl was erected on International Women's Day in front of Wall Street facing Raging Bull, I was that fearless girl even though I could not go to Europe and stop World War II. Probably later in life, in addition to growing up totally allergic to bullets and bombs, totally allergic to war and violence, I was presented with this chart. It wasn't Maine at the time, it was New York State and then Vermont. And I was appalled to find out that even back then, 52 cents of every discretionary federal dollar goes to wars past, present, and future, taking care of veterans, waging war now, and planning dastardly weapons for the future. I couldn't believe it, and now it's up to 53 percent, I've been told. Good God. We have done ourselves in. With that, I will bring this to a close. Thank the, those of you who came and carry on.